Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are going to be doing crock pot meal and making a DIY project for the house. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making our DIY project that we're doing today. It's the drop cloth farmhouse um, curtains. I've seen this before on YouTube so I can't take credit for it but I really enjoyed making these. I think they just look really cute and they're pretty cheap. I mean from two windows it's like 40 bucks. That's everything. So you really can't go wrong there. But anyways, I hope you guys love and enjoy this video as much as I did making it. And let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So we're going to be doing a crock pot meal today. I'm going to make a roast and then we're going to do a gravy later with some of the sauce from the crock pot. But um, to start with, you're just going to need a um, roast of some sort. I just have a round tip roast. Carrots, um, one and a half cups of water, one and a half teaspoons of beef bouillon. I do a stick of butter. I think it just makes a difference. I think it makes it taste better. Um, so that's kind of like my tip with roasts and stuff. If you kind of want them to be a little bit more, I hate to say the word moist, but that would be an accurate term, um, is to use some of that butter. And then you're gonna need a packet of onion soup mix, um, a half a teaspoon of thyme, salt and pepper, and then a bay leaf. And then you're gonna let all that cook on low, probably for about eight hours. And then we'll do the gravy portion of this when this is all um, cooked. Okay guys, so this is what you're gonna need in addition to a um, curtain rod. But you're just gonna need a six by nine or however large um, drop cloth. I just got this at Walmart along with this. And then um, I just got two sets of clip rings. Um, I've actually made these drop cloth um, curtains before and I did need, I ended up needing two of these. So I would recommend probably getting two. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is fill up your tub with some really hot water. And then you're going to take your bleach and dump about half of it in. These drop cloths are so easy to find, you guys. I found this one at Walmart for $9.99, but I've also seen them at Farm and Fleet. You could probably get them at a paint store. I think they're pretty easily found, so. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your drop cloth and you're just want to get want to get the whole thing wet um, and make sure that it's covered in the bleach water. And then you're going to let this sit for about 12 hours. Once the 12 hours is done, then you're going to take it out and you're going to put it in your wash cycle. So for washing this, I threw this on the white cycle that I have on my washer. I also threw in my regular laundry detergent along with some fabric softener and you're also going to want to throw in some bleach. Once these are done being washed, you're also going to want to throw them in the dryer. It does not take them very long to dry and once they come out, you guys, they are so soft and easily to work with. So when you go to cut them, it's pretty easy. For this next part, you're just going to take the drop cloth and fold it right in half and lay it on the floor. You're gonna to wanna to smooth out any of the wrinkles that are in it, and you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that both sides are even and together so that when you cut this, it is two even sides. So 
So then this next part is pretty easy. You're just gonna cut all the way down along the sides and you're gonna wanna pull on the cloth as you're cutting down just to make sure that it's even. What I've learned with the clip rings is I just do three on each side just to kind of make the curtains look a little bit more slouchy. I just think it kind of makes it look a little bit more farmhouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three of the clip rings on each side. Now for the curtains, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold over the top part and I'm gonna to try to make them even with the other curtains that I have up. But you're just gonna wanna fold over the top and I like that part showing. I would probably recommend you do that. Um, so then once they're even, you're just going to kind of hang them up so they're a little bit slouchy. And it kind of takes a little bit of um, trial and error to get them the way that you like. But once you get them the way you like, these seriously are so cute, you guys. And they are so inexpensive. I mean, $40 for this whole project, I think, is well worth it. So these are what the curtains will look like when you're all finished. I think these curtains are so pretty and I love them even more because they are a DIY project. So anything that's DIY and you can save a buck here or there makes it even more special in my opinion. Um, but yeah, these are really easy to make you guys. And if you're in need of some curtains for your house and are looking for like a farmhouse feel, I would 10 out of 10 recommend you try this. And if you do try it, please let me know in the comments down below and tag me if you have pictures of your finished product. I would love to see how your guys' turned out. And here's the finished product for the crock pot meal. I'm not gonna lie, my gravy did not turn out the way I anticipated, so I didn't include that in this video, but I will include the recipe down in the comments below if you guys wanna make it yourself. Um, but yeah, it was really good. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.